<laughs> Does that look weird that it's hanging out? <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we're going to be creating a little tutorial on how to create the best hyperlapse on your GoPro Hero 8. Um, so, I am in Paris. I've moved to Europe, which is super exciting. Anna has suggested that we go to... Le Chateau de Versailles. Le Chateau de Versailles. And uh, I thought, what an opportunity to create and test out some of the hyperlapse features of the GoPro Hero 8. Now, for those of you that have just got this camera, you know that this has 2.0, which just basically means you can tap whilst you're hyperlapsing. Hyperlapsing goes into real time, and then from real time, it will you tap to continue. So, we're going to test it out maybe 15 times, 30 times. Just see what looks good. We've got this beautiful chateau as our subject. So, yeah, let's get into it. It's probably 30 degrees, maybe 32 degrees, but it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little French lesson just before, so I'm asking everyone how to say their name. Bonjour! Comment tu t'appelles? <laughs> Alright, well the clouds are kind of perfect, so this is really nice. Normally, there's not a single, single space available in this parking lot. Really? No, ever. There would never be a single spot. But since it's COVID time, everyone's... No one who's not French is here. This is a palace <laughs> for the Ritzy. <laughs> this was the house where all the kings and queens of France lived before we beheaded them during the French Revolution. And we decided enough with the kings, enough with the extravaganza. All these people were starving to death. And so the little people decided to rebel against uh, royalty and behead the queen and the king on a very special day. And then we became a republic. So I think the first hyperlapse that we'll test out will go for, let's set it to 4K 30 times and we're going to walk about 200 meters right up here to the front of the gate. So um, yeah, I mean the proximity right now probably doesn't look quite like 200 meters but I would say that's about what it is. Um, yeah, alright, let's do that. the Chateau the Chateau du Versailles, <laughs> Chateau du Maman. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue on this, this hyperlapse. So we've gone from outside, hopefully I can just blend the frames um, in the edit from outside to inside and we'll just go all the way to the very front of the tower. I'm keeping this at 4k uh, 30 times and we're still remaining it on white. So let's just make sure I've got those settings dialed in. Speed 30 times. Okay. All right super bright which is good but look at those beautiful clouds and I can just continue to follow this exact same line and we're on very bright indeed. okay so this time I'm gonna change the settings we're doing uh, 15 times and we're still using the wide lens at 4k um, you'll notice I'm going to go for a shorter distance. This is maybe like 40 meters. The shorter the distance, the lower the number. So if you're going to go for like, you know, 200 meters, then go to max 30. We're only going to do a little time, time lapse here, so hyperlapse I should say. So let's give that a go. Okay, rolling. Okay, keeping the subject nice in the middle. Okay, so there's this tiny little archway just here in this beautiful room. Um, and so for this, I think I've got about 25 meters that I can work with to create a hyperlapse. So what I thought I was gonna do is I'll just drop it down to do 10 speed and see if I can get something which looks cool through here. Obviously, I can't walk the entire archway because of this balustrade sort of blocking it off. But if I could, that would be awesome. So yeah, let's see how that looks.
And this is where we make the art. made it into the gardens. Yeah. Anna's just checking on the map. Look at this place. It is elaborate. It's absolutely incredible. Perfect place for lunch if you are thinking of coming. The sun is out and there's these beautiful uh, symmetrical gardens. So I thought what we would do is, as you can see, we would test out another hyperlapse down here. I'll try and walk as straight as possible. This is another maybe 200 meter strip. So I'll do 30 times and let's go all the way down to this golden fountain. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the other feature that I really think is cool about the GoPro Hero 8 is being able to use um, Time Warp 2.0 and all you have to do is tap the little globe icon at the bottom of the screen as you're doing a time lapse or a, a hyperlapse. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a round, so we're going to pan kind of like a curved hyperlapse around this beautiful fountain and um, yeah, I'll tap on Anna, she'll be taking some pictures over there and then we'll keep going. Let's give it a go. So the next tip that I would highly recommend doing to create really nice clean hyperlapses is to make sure that you're quite sturdy with your upper body. Now that doesn't mean that um, you know you have to be like super row body. All it means is that to just keep your subject always in line like this so that you can see on the screen. If the screen turns off because you've been rolling for I think it's like 30 seconds or something it will turn off. Just tap it and keep making sure that you've got that subject aligned. So let's do a, a wrap around here and I'll show you what I mean. So time warp 4K 15 times. This is, I kind of just use this little world icon to uh, make sure that I've got the fountain just above the world at all times. And I'm just aligning it. <laughs> types of hyperlapses I like to capture when I'm traveling and creating content uh, for travel films. The first one is obviously just the walking towards the subject, it's just linear, it's just straightforward. With that in the edit you can go forward and you can reverse the clip so you can play with it a little bit. The second one is the orbit which we, I just showed you before which is going around the subject and keeping that in the center focus and the third one which I'm about to show you is the rotation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hyperlapse move forward towards the central point that being the uh, chateau and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly move the camera around but keeping at trying my best to keep that chateau pinpointed in the middle of the camera um, focal point so that it doesn't kind of shake. So we'll give it a go. Let's see how we go. I still have it in the center. We are almost back. Oh damn it, I think my finger just got caught into one of those, those shots. Okay, and I could probably stop about now. So that final hyperlapse is really quite challenging, I do agree, but if you're quite meticulous with the way that you tilt the camera, the way that you turn the camera, um, you'll get something really, really cool. Um, so I hope these three little hyperlapse tips have given you some insight. Uh, you know, play around with the, the speed, play around with the 15 or the 30 times or the 10 times, depending on the distance that you guys are traveling. If you have enjoyed today's video, do punch the thumbs up button. Um, 
Merci. Wow, what did I say last video? Um, merci du voir. Regarde my video. Like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll put some other videos up here. But uh, yeah, come to the Chateau du Vosse if you get the opportunity to. Um, I can't guarantee that it's going to look anything like this because apparently there's normally hundreds of people out here. But it's been a beautiful afternoon here in uh, Wii, Paui, well, Vosse. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next upload. Jaya. Peace!